An object of mass 12 kilograms is suspended by two light inextendable ropes PQ and QR as shown. Find the tension T1 and the T2 in the rope. So here's the object has a mass of 12 kilograms, so its weight will be 12 g newtons. What well, tension in this string here and tension in this string here, this is 45 degrees, this is 30 degrees. We've got to find the, t, the value of T1 and T2. So I'm going to show you three different ways of doing it. If we uh, introduce the I and J vector components, if the forces are in equilibrium, i.e. there's no movement, the resultant will be equal to zero. There will be no net force. So using vectors, and if we look at the components of this one T1 here, this one will be this way, because it will go in the opposite direction, will be minus T1 cos of 45, and the vertical, as it's in the upwards direction, will be T1 sine 45 and then if we add to that T2 cos of 30 which is the one going that way and the one going this way will be T2 sine of 30 and then we've got to add to that minus 0 minus 12g and the resultant will be the voltage vector will be 0 0 i.e. it's in equilibrium then for this to be true the components must be must add up correctly so taking the i components we have minus root 2 over 2 t1 cos of 45 cos of 30 is root 3 over 2 t2 is equal to 0 and taking the j components root 2 over 2 t1 plus a half of T2, min minus 12G will be equal to zero. But if we take the minus 12G to the other side, it will be 12G, so we can get set up two simultaneous equations. Now, if we multiply the top one by 2, that will be still be equal to zero. If we multiply this one by 2, it will become 24G. So doing that, just to make life easy for ourselves, and then if we add the two components, this bit will cancel out and here we get root 3 plus 1 T2 is equal to 0 plus 24G so T2 will be 24G over root 3 plus 1 and I'm taking G to be 9.8 meters per second squared we're going to have 86.089 if we now substitute that into equation 1 we're going to have minus root 2 T1 plus root 3 86.089 is equal to 0. So T1 will be root 3, 86.089 divided by root 2. On my calculator, that will give 105.43. And then running our answers off to three significant figures, T1 is 105 newtons, T2 is 86.1 newton. Now, we might have straight away like written it down like this rather than using vector equations. If we resolve horizontally, then we will have minus T1 cos 45 plus T2 cos 30 is equal to 0 for equation 1. And then if we resolve vertically, then we have T1 sine 45 plus T2 sine 30 is it going to have to be equal to 12G as equation 2. And then we go through the same procedure as we've done here. Now an alternative method is to use the triangle forces. So if we draw the first force, T1, and then draw the second one here going downwards, okay, so it's going down here, because this is 45, this one will also be 45, and then this is T2. Now T2, the angle you can get by doing 30 plus 45, this one, if you draw it here, this one is 45, and this one from here onwards will be 30, so it will become 45 plus 30, which will allow you to calculate that angle to be 60. And then we can use the sine rule. So using the sine rule, this is T1 over sine 60 is equal to T2 over sine 45 is equal to 12G over sine 75 using the sine rule. So T1 will be 12G sine 60 over sine 75 which gives 105.43, same as before. 
and then T2, so equating these two together, you get T2 will be 12G sine 45 over sine 75, which gives you 86.089. Again, the same answer as T1 is 105 newtons, and T2 is 81, 86.1 newton. This is known as the Lemmy's theorem, this, this theorem here. Alternatively, we could have just drawn the diagram like it is in the given in the given question, and we use the idea that sine theta is sine 180 minus theta. So we could have drawn it like this. That's T1 in the right direction. That's T2 in the right direction. And that's 12G going downwards. Newtons. This angle will be 105, which we can calculate from using this triangle here. This angle here, if we draw a straight line in here, if this is 45, this one would have to be 45, and this is 90, so it's 45 plus 90, which is 135. Same idea here. If we draw this one here, this one would have to be 30, this is 90. So, again, we can use the sine rule. T1 over sine 60 is equal to T2 sine 45, 12G over sine 75. But it's exactly the same as doing T1 over sine 120, T2 sine over 135, 12G over 105, using this idea for up here. Again, it will give you the same answer. T1 is 105 newtons, T2 is 86.1 newtons. Okay, so we've shown you three different ways of doing the same problem.